What's up, Bulldogs? All right, I've been trying to think about a way to talk about this concept because it's it's sort of a difficult one to really understand, but I will give it to you in an analogy and hopefully it will, it will make sense to you. So, for example, let's say that I told you about criticism and I said, hey, you should never give criticism. And the reason why you shouldn't give criticism is because most people, 99% of people, will not accept it. They won't take it the right way, even if it's constructive criticism, even if, even if it's meant to help someone. You shouldn't do it. It's just not a good idea. It's better to praise people than to criticize them. You know, read How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. He would say that, right? And so I could tell you basically not to criticize people and why, for you, it's smart to not criticize people, okay? Now, I could turn around and tell you, however... You should want people to criticize you, and you should encourage people to criticize you. You should ask for criticism. You should be seeking it out, and you should ignore how it's said and instead take the content of it and, and take whatever value you can from it. In fact, you want to encourage people. You don't want to discourage them from, from criticizing you because that's powerful feedback. That's really good stuff for you in order to improve yourself. And so you should never get upset at someone criticizing you and you should always welcome it. Now, those two things seem to be in contradiction, okay? And that's what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about this idea that certain messages are for you. And, and that the focus that you should have is on the, the on how it applies to you, not on other people, right? So if you take that example for criticism, if, if, if I tell someone, and many times I will tell someone about this, about how they should never criticize anyone else, and they will say, well, other people criticize me, so they should also not be criticizing me. <laughs> and that will be the focus. That In fact, that's where the conversation will immediately go. And that's not the point. It doesn't matter what other people are doing. You, as a person, should not care what other people are doing. You shouldn't care if they're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. You should be focused on you doing the right thing and not trying to retaliate or not trying to modify your behavior based on their behavior, right? So, for example, if you know that it's a good principle to not criticize people and you also know that it's a good principle to take criticism, those things are not in contradiction to each other. It doesn't mean, I think a lot of people and most people will take this to say, if if John says, don't criticize people, then, then I shouldn't be criticized, so I shouldn't have to take criticism, right? <laughs> or if, if John says, take criticism, okay, that you should take criticism and you should welcome criticism, then I should give criticism because that's, that's I'm giving a value to people. And, and the thing about this is that, is, is like I said, is that there's so many of these instances in life. I'll give you another example of one, okay? So I was talking on my, my new podcast on Better Than Perfect, which I'll put a link down below with, with my wife about this. And we're talking about leadership, right? Leadership in a, in a, in a marriage, in, in, a, in a relationship where a man should be the leader. He should be the authority. And, and I talked about these, these, some of these concepts in, 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 the, in the podcast interview. And... You know, it, 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 it's some of the things that I said come across as a little bit abrasive, right? Because it really depends on the audience. And what I was telling her, I was like, look, if I'm speaking to men, I'm going to give them a different message than I would give to women, right? And and the, the reason why the, the message has to be different or why it's important that it's different is because it's the focus, right? Of the focus of you as the individual, right? So if I'm telling men how they should act as in terms of leadership in a relationship i'm not going to be talking about how women need to submit to them or that a woman needs to respect your authority and and, and these things i mean to a degree i would i would say those things right i I've, i did a video on on my other channel where i talked about being the captain of the ship if you haven't watched that video I, I'd, I'd highly recommend watching that video so that that's a conversation that you have but primarily guys already know that Right? They already know that, at least the guys that, that I'd be talking to about this, but the message that I would give to them is a message about how you need to be focused on putting your wife or your you know, girlfriend or whatever, you know, your, your partner's needs first. You need to be, you need to be focused on, on that, on, on, on making sure that you're a good leader, making sure that you are prioritizing her welfare and, and your family's welfare above your own. That's what you need to worry about. You need to worry about uh, making sure that 
she feels understood and that she feels like her opinion matters and that you are taking that into consideration when you're making decisions. She needs to feel those things. You should make it feel like you're not a dictator, that you're not just trying to make someone do what you want. Instead, you that you really do care even though you're, you're going to ultimately make those decisions and, and have that authority and have that responsibility. I would tell a man, you need to be responsible, okay, for whatever happens, that you, the buck stops here, it stops with you. It doesn't matter if someone else screws up, it's your fault, you're the captain of the ship, okay? That's, that's a message I would tell a man. Now, if I were to talk to a woman about that, uh, you know, and it, it doesn't necessarily mean that either of these would be well received, but this is the message that is important, Okay, because the, the guy knows about this other stuff. But if I was talk to a woman about this kind of thing, I wouldn't talk about what a man's supposed to be doing. <laughs> okay, I, I would talk about how look, you need to if you if you trust this guy, you need to trust him one hundred percent. You need to support him, even if he makes wrong decisions, even if you don't agree with the decisions. You need to trust that he's going to have your welfare at heart. You need to uh, submit to him, even if you don't agree like i said you know a lot of the time you need to show him that that support uh you, you don't need to worry about arguing about it or having your opinions or you need to trust that that he's he's taking those things into account okay uh, so i wouldn't focus on any of those things because again if i if i told a woman how a man's supposed to act, uh, then she's going to make her behavior conditional on him doing the right thing which is going to be a big problem because the guy's going to say, well, you know, if, if she would uh, support me and trust me, then I would put her first. But I, you know, he's going to make excuses. He's going to say, well, she's not doing this. And the woman's going to say, well, he's not doing this. Right. And, and that's how it is with so many things in life. And that's it's, it's a huge blocker. It's a huge blocker for so many people. And that's why I think this. Again, it's, it's been really hard to figure out how to communicate this, but I'm trying to give the, you several examples of this so you can see this. And again, it doesn't matter if you agree with me on male and female relationships. That, that's fine. You, you don't have to agree on that. Th this is my way. This is what I believe the masculine and feminine that, that produces the best relationship. That's not the point of this video, okay? We can talk about that in, in another video. The point of this video is that you need to take the instruction for you and not worry what the other person is doing or what they're supposed to be doing. Because if you make it conditional on that, then your behavior is actually controlled by them, right? How they act is going to control your behavior and that's gonna mean that you don't have sovereignty in your life and you're gonna make bad decisions based on that. So you've gotta focus on what is the message for you and you alone so that you take right action, not worrying about what other people do. Again, like I said, this is what it almost always devolves into. Almost always it comes down to, well, you know, this person's doing this. It's like, okay, well, someone's calling me names, so I should call them names. That, that doesn't, it doesn't, you know, someone's not nice to me, so I'm not going to be nice to them. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Someone disrespects me, so I'm going to disrespect them. No, <laughs> these are bad ideas, right? You should be living your life based on principles that are unchanging, Right. See, if you constantly change your behavior and your actions based on what another person is, is doing, you're unstable. You're not a person who's living by principles. You, you're not a person that can be depended upon. And and really who you are is not anything to do with you. It has to do with who the people around you are <laughs> because they make you good or bad. So if, if your behavior is bad because you're around the, the wrong people or they're treating you in the wrong way and you're reacting off of that, then I, I can't really give you any kind of credit, uh, good or bad. <laughs> I, I mean, I can give you bad credit saying that, that you've made the choice to not be principled, right? So that, that's really th this concept. And like I said, I, I had some some struggles trying to figure out exactly how to describe this. But let me know what you think about this. And let me know if this, this resonates with you. Does this make sense? Have you done this before? Because, you know, again, we've all been here. We, we've all been in situations where we're focused on what the other people are doing rather than what we are doing. But if we really want to grow and really want to develop ourselves, we have to really focus on what it is that we're doing. And if, if you don't do that, then yeah, you're, you're, you're going to constantly, uh, you know, take the message and you're going to misapply it or you're not going to agree with the message. A lot of people don't agree with what I'm saying because they say, well, what if everybody did this or what if nobody did this or nobody's doing this, right? They use other people as a way to argue against right action. And, and you can't do that. 
if you want to be sincere, if you want to be authentic, if you want to truly develop and grow yourself, you've, you can't use those excuses. You just got to look at you. And in fact, I would even take it one step further to say that how many times have you been in an argument or a discussion and you've diverted the issue by pointing out sometime that someone else did something or, or what they did as opposed to just focusing on what is it, what is the, what is the actual issue w with you, right? Your, your defense should never be, well, you did this or here's some instance of where someone else did this. Your defense should stand on its own. If, if you're going to defend yourself at all, which usually is not a good idea, honestly, but if you are going to, I mean, because your actions should speak for themselves, you, you shouldn't have to defend yourself. But if you are going to, you should defend it based on the principles. This is the right thing to do. This is why this is right. This is why this makes sense as opposed to, uh, yeah, someone else did this. I'll see you tomorrow.